guys welcome back to the channel today's video is a little more simple but pretty good basic information for new beginners so i'm just going to be showing you guys how i remove lifting off of the nail um she's never had this problem before i don't know what happened if it was on her end or my end um she did come for the first time to remove some lifting so it was a week before um before basically i give people a week um if anything happens i'll fix it for free anything after a week then you know i don't know what they're doing in their daily life that or their personal life um i don't know that could be causing this but you know it could have been something that happened before she came in or i don't know if i touched something but like i said the first time she came to remove it it was one i think her two middle thing no not the two it was um i'm trying to see Okay, see, it's the ombre. It was the two ombre ones, and I fixed them. Then she said something a week later and said, oh, these other ones are lifting. Um, so that was already a week after, and, you know, so she she did have to pay for the other ones that I'm doing now. I did do three fingers, but I'm only showing you on two fingers, which is this hand that I'm holding right now, so you guys can um, see her lifting better and that way you don't get confused me going back and forth with the nails but first and foremost i did remove it with my extra 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 core so it's a triple course bit that i'm using right now i will leave the link down below for the um description and oh, i'm sorry for the drill bit so that you guys can purchase the bit and i did buy it on amazon so i hope this is helpful but yeah you see it takes everything off pretty quickly i'm also trying to be very gentle um because this was the first time i actually used this bit on this client um but i do love it it works really really well and if you were doing a soak off this bit will be your best friend i cannot believe i've been doing nails for so many years and i've just you know never invested in a good bit and it was actually not that and it was not that expensive it was only like around 18 dollars for something that it'll help you the whole month basically with removing um the acrylic if you have to do soak off so it helps you so much on time and it's less stressful when you have such a great bit to do a lot of the work for you so yeah i'm just removing all of the the um the lifting that i saw you do want to be gentle so you don't touch the natural now with this bit either so as you guys can see i already removed the lifting off both the pinky and the the middle finger and now i'm just removing anything that looks kind of wonky i'm um, smoothing it out a little bit so that when i apply the acrylic it's um as smooth as it can be i could i should have also i think i did it on the other finger though i used a regular uh fine bit to smooth it out but here i am just removing the shine now because i will be adding the primer and the color back onto the nail so we're just using this medium grit sanding band on my e-file and i am just removing the the shine off the nail so now i'm just adding some koopa primer and now we are adding the color bubbly by madam not madam glam i always say that but it's the color bubbly by glam and glitz and i actually have to re-up on it because i'm running out and this color is i can kind of weird i don't know why sometimes the madam madam glam sometimes the glam and Gl glitz colors are a little weird too sometimes they're um they all have a different consistency for some reason but anyway um like i said i'm gonna reorder another one this was such a popular color this whole past year and it ran out and it did last me the whole year so that was amazing but there's other colors that i haven't even gone through anyways so after this application we're gonna do the middle and we're going to encapsulate the color because it's just a colored acrylic and we do want to add some some structure with the clear and also it saves you on spending so much on just the color that's just a waste of money so yeah moving on Perfect. So here we are, we're going to do the application, the refill application for the middle finger. 
using the same exact color the brush that i'm using is a number 20 in case um i have new subscribers if you are new don't forget to subscribe to this channel guys i try to teach you and be very very um what's the word i'm looking for i try to be as precise i try to be as detailed when it comes to explaining things because i know how hard it is when you're starting off so yes i did get this brush from my local nail supply store i've mentioned this in a couple other videos and i love this brush i used to use a number i think i started off with a number eight then quickly transitioned to a number 10 and then really quickly to a number 12 from a number 12 i skipped from number 12 all the way to a number 20 and i'm not looking back i love my number 20 it's such a great brush but i i don't know what, it doesn't have a brand or anything it's just from my local nail supply store but i do suggest you guys try something on amazon make sure you look for the reviews guys it's very important you don't want to waste a lot of money on a bad brush and for the liquid i am using young nails because i don't have any more koopa because they take forever next time i order you guys i swear i'm gonna just pay the extra money to get it here quicker because it is so annoying to have to go and pay more money because my dummy self decided to wait last minute <laughs> to order stuff anyway so yeah i am just going to finish this nail off and encapsulate it with the clear perfect Okay, back to the pinky. Now we are encapsulating with the clear. I am using clear from Koopa. And this is going to help with the structure of the nail and to protect the color, of course. I always try to mention this in every video because I think it's really important. If you miss this step, um, that can cause a lot of issues. But sometimes it's not necessary in every single type of colored acrylic. I just I you I can kind of tell now like what needs extra structure, especially in ombre. If you're not really good at ombres and you need to add that encapsulation with the clear, then um, it's really important that you do that. But I've I've done um. I've done ombres where I never really needed to use the clear because I just did it so nicely that um, it wasn't lumpy or anything. One end wasn't bigger or more thicker than the other side where I didn't have to add extra structure to it, if that makes sense. So anyway, now that we're done with the encapsulation, I'm going to go ahead and grab my 100 grip file. This one's actually a 100, 180 from Sally's and I love this file. As you guys can see to my left, <clears throat> that's the file I'll be using to shape my nails. I love these files. I don't think I've ever had a better file than this one. So this is the files from Beauty Secrets and you can buy it at Sally's if you have a license. Um, for cosmetology or nails or anything like that go to sally's get you some of these files because they're amazing and you get a great discount with your red card this is the other middle finger guys that i um was fixing but i didn't want to show everything because this video would have been too long and this is a very basic video okay so that is why i was trying to cut down some time for you guys just so you guys can just see the basics with the other two nails but it doesn't cause any harm to show you guys this middle one as well it's 
just so you guys know it was three fingers that she had lifting on all right so here we just are going to do the following sides and the free edge get it reshaped and back into form <laughs> Our next step would be to take our fine drill bit. This is a carbide bit I get at my local nail supply as well. And you can also order these on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, any of those sorts of um, places. You can also order it from other uh, people that sell them online. Just make sure that you watch out for the reviews because on AliExpress, I'm not going to lie, I've had some good ones. I've had some bad ones. You just never know when you go to AliExpress. But basically, I'm just taking this um, bit and I'm just going around the cuticle area and the surface of the nail to remove any lumpiness or anything like that. So I also go underneath like the free edge part and remove any acrylic that may be stuck on there. And I also do the cuticle area and the surface of the nail to get it back into shape, get it all cleaned up, remove any excess acrylic that may be stuck to the skin, and that is what would cause lifting. I don't think that this was her problem per se. I don't really know what happened. I don't know if maybe I had some oil on my fingers or she did, but it was something. So as the nail tech, I have to take precaution and make sure that that wasn't me. I always wash my hands though before anyone comes because I feel a lot more... I just feel like 100% like, okay, I know for a fact it's not me. But you just never know. Sometimes, you know, I do have the bottle of oil on my table. And I don't know if I touched it before I started, but who knows what it was. Um, it's just very good to know that this never happened with her before. And she's always had, like, her nails can sustain acrylics on for so long. It's not even funny. Some people I've noticed that they last a lot longer on them and other people not so much. It just really depends on the person, their natural nail beds, if they're oily, if they're not too oily, um, what their lifestyle is like and things of that sort. All right, so we're buffing the nails. And after buffing, we're going to clean them up with some alcohol and a little paper towel or a little wipey. Um, and then I could take my DND gel and put it on the pinky because the pinky is where her chrome was. And that's what we are redoing. Um, so the gel went to the LED lamp for one minute, came out, and now we're doing the unicorn chrome. And I will be, I will be closing that off with gel. And that will be going into the lamp. I got a notification. That will be going into the lamp for one minute. And so we're gonna start adding back her diamonds. She did have diamonds prior. You guys saw me remove them with the cuticle nippers. And now we're just going to be redoing the same little um, design that she had. It was basically diamonds around her cuticle area. And then that will be all. We're just gonna add the gel right after but the pen that i'm using to pick up the stones is actually a wax pencil and they are very very inexpensive i got them on amazon they're like literally a dollar or less and they are a great investment i've had the same three for so long it's not even funny i didn't like the diamond how i placed it there so i removed it with some nippers you can easily do that you guys it's very easy so if you're not happy with how it looks please remove it your client will, will 
most likely be so grateful for the fact that you care that much and you are willing to fix it because i've had so many clients tell me that when they go to the nail salons that they notice like they're very careless they don't care they hope that you don't notice and if you do notice they get mad um which is not right so you have to make sure that your clients are happy anything that you can do you know to make them happy of course um if you do have clients that are very 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 extremely picky and stuff like that like i get it it's very stressful but um you know you can also pick your clients you guys you don't have to take people if you don't like them if i mean if you're self-employed of course but I, honestly i love all my clients i'm very happy with all of them they you know for the most part know what they want when they come in so that saves me a lot of time and a lot of stress that i don't have to think about like okay i'm running out of time and they can't make up their mind so a lot of my clients are very good on you know making up their mind of course i do get the ladies that are like oh i still don't know what i want which is totally fine we figure it out together when they come um that is very much appreciated so anyways um i'm adding the gel polish and it's going in the lamp for one minute and i am just adding the polish on the other one as well that got messed up and that will be going into my led lamp as well for one minute this is a non-wipe top coat of course that is why i used it for the chrome um as you guys can see my little diamond thing it looks bad be careful if you're gonna add gel activator spray by me a secret because that's what happened to it um it makes sense to me now but anyway i'm gonna get a new one because it looks so really that just looks horrible to me or i'll just keep these in here because i'm gonna buy some swarovskis soon and maybe i'll just um have a separate one for swarovskis but anyway i just applied the cuticle oil and that is pretty much it you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, you guys. And please like this video. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm, guys. So much appreciated. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.